Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be doing part one of my colored pencil collection. I decided to start off with my Prismas because they're my favorite and I think they're the most interesting. To me anyway, they're the most interesting. I think I've gotten a nice little collection going on right now, some vintage, some newer stuff. This video is not gonna be really like a history or in-depth deep dive on Prisma colors or anything. I'm just basically gonna be showing you what I have in my collection right now. If you are interested, I will be putting some good resource, online resources you can check out if you want to get some more info on history and discontinued colors, retired colors, that sort of thing. Plus, um, I'm going to leave you a link to Lori Green over at Color My World. She did a really, really excellent two-part series a while ago where she goes really in-depth on the history of Prisma colors. Another good video I'm going to link is one from Super Ray Dizzle where she does a comparison between some of the older and newer sets of Prisma colors. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first I just wanted to show you some of the discontinued or retired colors that I have in my collection. These are pencils that for whatever reason, Prisma Color decided to stop making them. So I have them swatched onto this color chart that I got from Color with Claire. She has it set up in color family order. What I did was just stuck in the ones that are discontinued that I have. I tried to stick them into where I thought they would kind of belong. So we have deco orange, bright blue violet, bright violet over here. And deco blue, everyone's favorite. Everyone's crazy for this deco blue. Um, deco aqua. And let's see what else. Got all the metallics. I got copper, steel, metallic green, metallic violet, metallic tile blue, metallic blue. Metallic purple, metallic rose, metallic maroon, and metallic jade. So I kind of get why some of these colors have been discontinued. Like it's not really a big shocker, but um, it's nice to have them. And then these ne neon green, neon red, those are discontinued as well. Okay, guys, now I kind of don't really know where to start because I have this big giant pile of stuff piled up next to me and... I have some, some of the pencils are in cases. Some of them are still in the boxes. See, I have this big pile of boxes. Most of the boxes are empty. Um, I have transferred them over into these pencil cases, but I do want to show you the boxes too, because I think the boxes, especially the, the older boxes are really interesting to see. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to take it one thing at a time. Maybe I'll going to start I'll start with the pencil cases first. All right, I've decided. Let's do it. All right, this is my main Prisma color case. This is the one I have out on a regular basis. I don't ever even zipper it back up again. I just leave it open cuz I'm always using it. But this is kind of a mix between the new Prisma color Premier pencils and then I have some Sanford Prismacolors stuck in here as well because my first set of Prismacolors was actually a 48 piece um, tin of Sanford Prismacolors. So and then this last page I just have all the disc some discontinued colors back here and this page is scholars I don't I never use those and I never use these either these very thins the only one I ever actually use is the black I'll use the black sometimes but not not too much okay next is this big case let's see what's in here this is oh maybe I'm gonna start you from the back because I think well, I'll start from the beginning these are barrel and I think I have I don't even remember oh boy I actually think I have these in, in numerical order I was really organized <laughs> this day but these are all barrels 
that are sharp and I put them all together in this case. I'll flip through it really quick so you can take a look. Now, this is all, yeah, this is all barrels. Now, uh, this is interesting over here. You see these warm medium grays. These are actually, I didn't include those in my swatches. I should have, but these are discontinued as well. These are the grays. They went by warm gray, medium, warm gray, dark. These kind of got transferred into kind of equivalents of the, the grays that we have now, the French grays. Um, you know, all the grays at the end. I can't think of them all right now, but the cool gray, the warm grays, these have, these might have equivalents in today's color, some of them, but I think not all of them. So you do have some, like I said, I wasn't gonna get into all of the, everything, the history and everything, cause it's gonna get, it'll get like too long and drawn out, but these are some, different color names here, cold, gray, warm. Um, there are some color colors that have gone from one name to a different name, but it's still the same color. I think like green bice is spring green now. Um, just to name one. I do have one lonely little Canada barrel color. The Canada, Prismacolors, they don't have color names, they just have numbers. And let's see, then these are like a little bit newer barrel, I think, when they have this little square, little design over here. Let me show you the old ones, the old ones. Older ones don't have that. They just say barrel Prismacolor, I think. Light violet, that's lilac now. And let's see. I have some metallics, some more metallic, discontinued metallics in here. Some more metallics. And that's that case. All right, and then next up is this case I have. This is my unsharpened barrels. I don't have weird categories, right? These are barrels that I have that are unsharpened. These are mostly the new on the newer side of barrels. With this little square. What do you call that? A logo, I guess. Yeah. So these are ones I have that are not sharpened. I know when I first started collecting them and I got some that were discontinued colors, but I wanted to add them to my, you know, my actual main Prismacolor collection. I was so like, I was like, oh, I don't want to sharpen them. I was so scared to sharpen them. But I eventually I was like, why, why have them if you're not going to use them? Just sharpen them. So I did. So now I'm okay. Now I'm kind of okay with sharpening them and using, actually using them. These, I think, are the most interesting. I got some Eagle. This is, this is before Barrel. These are Eagle Turquoise, some of them. Um, and then I think this, these Eagles are like right before they turned into Barrel. So I have some with that logo too. These Eagle Turquoise, I think, I think they might say they're more closer to like a very thin pencil. I don't know if they're as soft as like what we think of a Prismacolor today. I think that's, if I'm recalling correctly, if I'm recalling my history correctly, I think that is correct, but I could be wrong. I might be misremembering. These few over here, these are really old too. I got them from eBay. I think they were from an old construction site. Um, I think the seller told me something, a, a construction site that had closed down in like 1995. And he was like, oh, these are so old. They were old, you know, in 1995 that I'm guessing they're probably from the 1960s. 
I think these aren't, oops, this is a Eagle Turquoise copying pencil. So these are probably used for um, blueprints. So that's pretty interesting. I find that so interesting. That's kind of another, that's kind of a main thing I like collecting these pencils too, because there's so much history behind them. And I just think, I like to think of um, who might have owned them and everything. Okay, this is my last case. I have to show you before I start showing you the boxes I have. This is my Sanford case. This is all Sanford Prismacolors I have in here. Um, some sharpened, some not sharpened. These are all made in the USA still. Um, if you want to, if you go by what Google says, it says that Sanford's Prismacolors were made in the USA up until 2010. And then that's when they moved to Mexico around that time. And then I have some light fast pencils in here too. These were discontinued because I think they weren't so popular. I'm not sure when they were discontinued, but they were discontinued because they weren't really popular, but then some of the colors did get um, absorbed into the 150 set that we know now. So I had, I was looking for all 48 because there's the biggest set they had come in was 48, but I think I got maybe like 16, 17 colors altogether. And I'm still on the lookout for the colors that I don't have. And let's see, this back page is um, I have a bunch of white, white Sanford whites and Sanford blenders. These are my favorite blenders to use. I think they're nicer than the ones that are that they have now. The Prismacolor Premier blenders. I find they're a little scratchy. These are nice and smooth, so whenever I can get these. I grab them but you do kind of have to be careful if you're looking for them because a lot of times I noticed um, people that sell them like on eBay and you know marketplace kind of listings sometimes they just use any old stock photo and sometimes it's like an old stock photo they use and it's not what the actual item is it'll be like the new a newer item they just use the old stock photo so you kind of have to be careful about that I've had to return some some things that had um, shown an old stock photo of some kind of Prismacolor product. That's one thing you kind of have to look out for when you're shopping for the vintage Prismas. I get a lot on Mercari, eBay, um, Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a fabulous, fabulous place to find um, that's where I found most of my um, really good vintage Prisma colors from. Even if you see some listings that say pick up local, pick up only, you can ask them if they're willing to ship. Um, if you're willing to like do the legwork of finding that information out for them and just like tell them, oh, listen, if you put it in uh, USPS priority mailbox or whatever, um, it'll be such and such price. I'll pay you the shipping, you know, stuff like that. A lot of times I find the people are like really willing to work with you. So now I'll get on to um, the boxes and tins. We'll do that next. All right, this tin, I have the pencils taken out. This is actually my first set of Prismacolors I ever bought. Um, I found this one on Mercari. And the reason why I bought this one was I had heard on all of the Facebook coloring groups that the made in the USA ones were the best ones. So I was like, oh, I, I want to get the USA ones. So I like scoured all of eBay and Mercari and everything. So I was looking on the back in everyone's pictures. I was like, you know, expanding. I was like, let me see the back. Does it say made in the USA? So I found this set was made in the USA, which is funny because all the made in the USA ones See how this is like really big made in the USA when they actually do move over to Mexico. Um, then it says made in Mexico, like really, really tiny. So I thought that was kind of funny. But this set 
came with uh, two art sticks. This set was is from 2004. So they were still made in the USA then. And I have this little pamphlet in here. Let's see, this is, I actually came with two um, Prismacolor, the art sticks, and I think it came, oh, it came with a little sharpener too. So that's interesting. They don't come with anything now, nowadays. But I found this very interesting. This is the pamphlet that came with it. And it has, uh, you know, the products they had. This is the products they had in 2004. Art sticks, watercolor pencils, very thin colored pencils, Prismacolor art pencil sharpener. This is all like the product range they had going on in 2004. But what I thought was interesting was when I was looking at this color chart, um, where is it now? For the color Process Red, it's listed here as Processed Pink. Let's see right here. Processed Pink instead of Processed Red. Now, I don't think it was ever called Processed Pink. I don't know if that's a typo or what. If any of you guys know out there, was this pencil ever called Processed Pink? I don't think so. But this seems like it's an older color chart too because at this time I don't think they even had like it says neon red here at this time 2004 their sets didn't have neon red either and it lists deco blue so this is an interesting color chart I thought so this must be I guess they left the old range of colors that they used to have so I don't know if any of you guys have any info to tell me I'd love it because I sometimes I look up online some you know I'm trying to find information on something and so hard to find anything on some of these sets that I have this is another box I got this set from eBay too that I have already put into my cases but this this tells you the different, it's, this is when they still had 120 pencils. They had all these different sets that we don't have today. They had a gray mid-tone colors, primary and secondary colors, clear mid-tone colors, black to white colors, neutral tone colors, neon and metallic colors, environmental green colors, environmental earth colors, sets. This one was a metallic, a neon and metallic color set, um, 12 colors. It says complete 90s range on it, which that's another weird thing too because the complete 90s colors, those were, I think, in the late 80s. And I've always found this confusing too when it says complete 90s range because I believe those sets came out in the late 80s before the 90s even happened. So I don't even really know what that means. But this has a listing of all the colors supposedly in their sets too. And this shows all the metallics and the decos and everything too. So a lot of things I've read about Prismacolors, but then I find these boxes and pamphlets and stuff, it seems like contradicting uh, information. So, I don't know, very confusing. Who knows the real deal, I guess, not me. Um, this is another set, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. This is just a 12 color set, I haven't opened them. This is from 1999. Here's another cool set I have. These are Prismacolor art sticks these were just recently discontinued um i have a smaller set somewhere i not i couldn't find it for this video but i have a smaller set than i've used before and it's basically it's um just a woodless uh a woodless pencil basically but they have them in like these stick forms and 
they're, I don't think these were so popular either. I think that's probably why they were discontinued. But now I've noticed ever since they've been discontinued, everybody wants them all of a sudden. And I see them for like a lot of money on eBay. People are spending like really ridiculous, they're like putting them up for like really ridiculous prices. But the biggest set they ever came in was a 48 piece set. This is my empty tin from the 24 piece portrait set. I don't have any pencils in there. This is the empty tin from the Light Fast set. I got a 12 set. Plus, I have some other ones that didn't come in, in this set. I found this on eBay. Let's see. These were made in the USA. This is 2004 Sanford. I'll speed through some of these because these aren't so exciting. This is a 24 piece tin. When is this from? This is when they were still Sanford. But I think. 2009. See, this is 2000. So 2009, 2010, I think, was some kind of transitional period when they went to Mexico. But I have some things that say 2009 and it says made in the USA. And like then this box says 2009 and made in Mexico. So maybe they must have, maybe they moved halfway through 2009. I'm not really sure. So the date of when they actually moved to Mexico, um, Seems a little suspect. I'm not really sure. So I guess sometime between 2009 and 2010, they completely moved over there. Um, this is Prismacolor watercolors. I don't. I don't ever use these either. I don't really like them so much. But that's what these look like. The watercolor sets. I think the biggest set they have in watercolors, I think, might be a 36 piece set. But these are the same colors that come in the. The 150 set. What's the date on here? 2011. Made in Mexico. And these are all the sets that are out now. You can get now. This is a landscape set. The botanical set. These you can get for like nine or ten, like nine, fifteen dollars sometimes. It's the under the sea set. This is. 24 piece highlighting and shading set. Now, just recently I saw this new set. I have only saw it, I saw it on Walmart, but it's called Prismacolor Technique. I'm gonna stick it in over here if I remember. Stick it in the picture of it. I was wondering, is this some kind of new set? But I think it's just a new kind of set, like, you know, like a landscape set or something, but it was really strange because it said Prismacolor, and over here, instead of saying Premiere, it says Technique, and it has a picture of like fireworks and stuff. Now I went onto the website, Prismacolor's actual website, to see if they had them for sale, and they don't have them for sale there. And they do have something called Prismacolor Technique up on there with like little videos on how to draw and stuff. Seems like they have like sets, but I haven't seen them for sale anywhere else. I don't know, have you guys? Heard of them? I got this set on eBay for like 25 bucks. So I said, oh, I can't beat that price. So I picked that one up just for backups. And this is just the 150 box. It's empty. I, this box is actually a Brute Funner tin. I just stuck this little sticker from my Jane Davenport, one of my Jane Davenport books. I stuck that up there. This is all my backup. Um, when I, I need another color to replace color, any color that I'm missing or like I wear it down. This is basically my backup for that. My regular set of pencils. Not my, you know, not really part of any kind of collection or anything. I've got a couple of, couple of rows of these pencils. Then I have some, this is kind of like a mix of extra pencils, like barrels or in Sanford's and like stubby little ones when I, if they get too small for me to use, I throw them in here. Um, oftentimes I was buying like lots of pencils on eBay and stuff just to get the colors. Some of them had like rare colors in them. So I was kind of left with this mishmash of pencils that I have. 
already. And I'm probably, one day I probably put them back up on eBay to sell these because these are, I have so many that I don't really need all of these pencils. But one day when I get around to doing it, I might put them back up on eBay. All right, this is really cool too. This set is a Prismacolor landscape colored pencil set, 24 pieces. This is before the current one that we have now. This is when they were still Sanford. I'm missing one pencil from in here. I think I took it out for something else. They had, um, I was looking, I saw they had also a portrait set in the same kind of tin. But I couldn't, I could never find it, actually find it to purchase it. But let's see this color, what they have in here. This is from 2003, Sanford, Illinois, made in the USA. The colors inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, this next is an empty box, but I thought it was interesting because it says limited edition and it's gold and it looks kind of fancy. I've seen a lot of these sets on eBay and like the big selling point is, oh, limited edition. But when these boxes say limited edition, I don't think there's anything particularly, I don't think the pencils are limited edition. I think it's the boxes that are limited edition because the design on the box, like see, I have this other one. That says limited edition on it too, the 72 set. So that's another thing to watch out for. People are selling them as if there's something special about the pencils inside since it says limited edition, which I think most sellers probably don't really know what they're selling and they might think it's something to, you know, put in the listing that's limited edition. But as for this, like, unless you think the box is something special that you would like to have. But this is an easel box. This is barrel, like Empire Barrel time. So this is probably like mid-80s-ish. But, yeah, so whenever you see boxes that say limited edition, it's the box that's limited edition, not the actual pencils inside. Um, this one, I... It's empty too. This is an easel pencil. This is from 1996. I haven't seen this box anywhere else. Thought it was cool. And this box. This box had, um, when I showed you my cases, this says barrel Prismacolor on it, but it had the pencils inside were the Eagle pencils. So I'm not really sure what this box is from this box is from is probably sometime from the 80s I guess I'm not really sure I think I knew at one point but I already for I forgot um so if anybody knows let me know this set was from is from is a 1997 set so if you look if you're looking for those discontinued colors this is the one of the sets you probably want to look for if you see them on eBay, um, I see a lot of 1999 sets. People are trying to sell those for a lot of money. But after 1997 is when they stopped with the all the decos and everything. So that's another thing to be wary of when you're buying on eBay, especially. And I don't think uh, like sellers are being like maliciously like deceptive or anything. I think it's just they don't know. Like, they know that maybe they know that oh, Prismacolors are, like, really sought after. And even still, even, like, a 1999 set is really great to have, too. But I think people are trying to sell them for more money than they really, like, a market value. That's my opinion. And this set is, see, this is a 1999 set. It looks almost, it's almost the same kind of design, so... You would be, if you didn't know, you'd be confused. You'd be like, oh, does this have the discontinued colors too? But it doesn't. Well, this is only a 48 set anyway. It wouldn't have it anyway. But saying it's the same 
packaging. So this one's $19.99 and this one's $19.97. And this set is even better than getting the $19.97 set. This is, I think, the best one to get. This has all of the metallics too, $19.93. And I have this one. This one's empty. I don't have anything on that one, but this one is full. This one I just got from the 93 one. Um, just missing two pencils because there was two metallics in there. I think it was maroon and jade that I didn't have from all of my other sets that I had before. So I, those are missing, but everything else is here. I have decos. All the decos in here. Deco. Blue. I think I have maybe three or maybe I have three deco blues. I'm not sure. This has all the neons too. Finally, I saved the best for last. Um, this is an Eagle Prisma pastel pencils. This is really, really super old. Um, I got this from Facebook Marketplace and a lot of other, a lot of other pencils. I'm not even sure. I couldn't really find much info on these. I found like one, let's see, look at this. It even has a snap. Doesn't work, but I couldn't find any real info on these about when they were made or anything. Um, most of them are not even used. I'm thinking these are from probably the 60s is my guess but I don't really know for sure probably early 60s it says I picked out the the I pick out the lightest one let's see okay we have copper in here too prisma pastels and it says Fine pastels in pencil form, made in USA. So, if anybody has any info on these, I would love it because I found like one. Um, looks like somebody's blog post that they found them at, at a garage sale or I don't know some kind of something place for really cheap. And I've seen them for sale on eBay too every once in a while, but not ever such a like a nice complete set like this. And I've seen them, like, they have them in, like, a block kind of stick form, too. So, um, this is, like, my most prized um, Prismacolor possession. I love these. Um, I don't know if I've ever even used them. But, so, that's it for my collection of Prismacolors and vintage Prismacolors. So, hope that was interesting for you guys. Hope it wasn't too boring. Um... We'll see what happens um, with the rest of my pencils. This one took a really took all took me all day, so um, we'll see. I have to put these all back where they belong. I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.